harvests, and so much more throughout the month of September. We've called an expert to show us how to kick off California Wine Month, I believe the 18th anniversary. Hello. Hey, Tina. Hi, Jordan. Good to see you. Good All morning. right. We got uh, Aida Mullenkamp here, the California Wines Food and Travel Expert, going to show us how to pair some things and then what, what, what you want to remind everybody about. Well, yeah, as you said, this is the 18th anniversary of California Wine Month, so it's a lovely time to celebrate harvest. We have grapes being picked across the Golden State, and, you know, it's really a nice time to get on the road and get into the wine experience yourself, whether you're mm. up in Mendocino, in your backyard of the Sierra Foothills, or even down in Temecula, there are all kinds of events. There are food and wine pairings, there's wine blending workshops, and my personal favorite, a harvest boot camp happening. Oh. So oh. I think we should all get in on all these events. <laughs> Where's that harvest boot camp at? That's happening in Napa, and it's okay. just one of the various events that you can find at discovercaliforniawines.com. And one of the things I know is that I'm not just a wine lover. I'm also a food lover, which is why I'm always bringing you recipes when I come to visit. And if you're hitting the road, it's also a great opportunity to try some of the 400 plus crops that are grown here in the Golden State. So this time of year, you can go to farm stands, farm trails, and try some of the seasonal produce. Uh, what's coming onto market now includes apples, figs, olives, persimmons, mm. but because it is Labor Day, uh -huh. I wanted to bring you a little last taste of summer. Oh. <laughs> so I have this grilled pork chop with a cherry wine sauce for you. Okay. Ooh. And the key here, Tina, is that you really want to look for a pork chop that has a bone in like this does here. When you put it on the grill, it's going to really help maintain the moisture and keep the meat at the right temperature and carry a lot of flavor. And then this sauce could not be simpler. This is literally just cherries, balsamic, honey, some red wine, thyme, and mustard. Mm -hmm. You can make it ahead. It would be equally great on roast chicken, grilled salmon. But the key here is that you have red fruit flavors with the cherries and grilled charry notes from the grilled meat and so you're going to want to go for a wine that is going to pair with that and one of the absolute go-to's in this scenario is our very own california zinfandel okay. so i brought you not one but two which i believe you have in studio yeah as we well. got a studio here Beautiful from setup. klein Yes, that's exactly right. We have the Klein family cellars, mm -hmm. as well as the Ravenswood. These are both old vine Zinfandels from right down the road from you all down in Lodi. Oh, and cool. these are, you know, Lodi is the Zinfandel capital of the world. Ooh. And one of the things that's so special about that area is that some of these grapes, like in the case of these two wines, are coming off of vines that are decades and decades, even in some cases, more than 100 years old. And oh, so incredible. you're getting a lot of flavor. And if you you are looking for a red wine to go with grilled meats this holiday weekend, you can't go wrong with a California Zinfandel. Yeah, I know a lot of old Zinfandel comes from El Dorado County as well, and Amador County. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah, so just right around you all, you can, you know, go out there and explore all throughout the Sierra Foothills down into that Lodi area. And, um, you know, these are actually also both sustainable wines as well as we've talked about when I've come on during California, um, you know, wine month in April, there's also uh, almost 80% of California wines are now being made in certified sustainable wineries. So you're also helping support that movement when you're drinking wines like this. All right, very Incredible. good. Well, thank you so much, Aida. Nice to see you. Aida Molenkamp there, California wines food and travel expert. Thank you, and there's more information, information if you want to follow yeah. them, too, on Facebook Dis and Instagram. DiscoverCaliforniaWines.com for more. Thank you very much. Happy holiday. Thank, Thank take you. Care. All right, local artists are getting creative on the sidewalks and hopefully finishing their pieces before summer.